Good morning. Here I am. Today is uh, the 8th of uh, August. So I'm going to come out here to uh, fishing hole, what I call fishing hole number three, and see if I can catch myself some uh, smallmouth bass, maybe uh, some rock bass, bluegill, that kind of stuff. So I'm just looking for a nice uh, morning fishing. There's been quite a bit of rain. So uh, the rain has really messed up the water quite a bit but my hope is is that I'll still be successful in being able to catch some fish I'm assuming top water will probably do a lot better today than uh, uh, you know the water baits that I throw um, but I will be using my Helgramite I do think that the Helgramite will still even though it's darker in color I do believe it'll still have success in catching fish but let's get out and see what can happen all right so here I am I'm Presently going to be making my first cast with my whopper plopper. Got to make sure it's not tangled um, but Yeah, the first cast I make this morning will be with my whopper plopper and Want to see what will happen water current is moving some um, hopefully not enough to really whoo had a little fish come up at it Whoop, there's another one maybe slow down a tad all right got my first fish for today let's see what it is oh, a smallmouth bass all right that's good so I've got my first smallmouth of the morning. It's taken me about 20 casts. It's definitely been a slower start. Let me get them by the lip there. There you go. You can see that. Just a beautiful uh, smallmouth bass. Just uh, pretty. Say hello to all your friends out there. Um, not thinking he's too big, but I'm going to go ahead and get a measurement with him. And see, he is 10 inches, so small, but definitely a start. So we're going to put him in the water and let him get bigger. <laughs> Thank you for biting. All right, that's one down. Let's see how many more I can catch. Got another one. Not sure what it is. Is it another bass or is it a? Oh, it looks like it's a bass. All right. Kind of hooked them sideways there. Ouch. Let me help you real quick, buddy. Let me get my pliers. Let me relieve the tension. Don't want to make that worse for him. There we go. No, I'm sorry about that, buddy. There we go. What a beautiful fish. We're going to let him go. He had enough trauma, I'm not going to measure this one. He's probably about the same inches, 10 inches, so let's let him go. Yeah, he hit it, but he kind of sideswiped it. All right, that's number two. Let's see what we can do. All right, I just had a pretty decent follow-up and uh, blow-up. Um, he didn't actually get the lure, so... I want to see if I can get him the bite. Let me try again. Try to mimic what I did earlier. Yeah, I was coming right through here. And then right about in the here. Let me get the 
back out there. A lot of times they have to reposition themselves. Again, I might actually end up using my uh, Helger mite. Let me try a little bit one up coming down because I'm sure this is where he's hanging out at. There he is. I knew it was in there. All right, beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, okay, buddy. Okay, I might be able to get it out without, yes. Perfect. Look at that, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Um, I would guess he's about 12 inches. But uh, we're going to put him in and let him get bigger. Thank you for biting. You're the biggest of the day so far. So, <laughs> All right. Well, let's move upstream. Let me remove my fishing rod so it doesn't get in my way and block me from casting. Got some weeds and bushes overhead. I would have liked to have been a little bit further out, but. All right. I knew there'd be one there. All right, what a beautiful bass. Definitely the biggest of the day so far. And a little chunky too. I think this one's getting fat for uh, for fall and winter that's coming up. Look at that gut on it. Definitely getting big. That's a beautiful fish. Let's see just measurement. It is 12. No, 13. 13 inches. So what a beautiful fish. I got to remember I have the numbers. The numbers uh, start where uh, the one inch is at. But what a beautiful, beautiful bass. So we're going to let him go. Got beautiful colors. I love the stripes that you could see there, but definitely a beautiful fish. Okay, buddy. <laughs> All right, good fish. So I believe that's fish number four. I haven't cast under that tree, but I know there's typically a big boy that hangs out over here. So I just want to see if I can get him the bite. That's the thing when you have uh, the flow of the water changing and the clarity. You could see if I can see it pretty well. You might not be able to see it, but as this water is coming around this bend, it's doing a little circle in that spot over there which generally should mean a good thing for a fish to be hanging out there. Fish enjoy creating or finding what they call feeding stations. That's places where they can find where the water's a little bit slack or the, they can get out of the flow of the current and where they can basically um, lay in an ambush site where all they have to do is look out for anything floating by or coming by that they can see as food to be preyed upon. And that's what I'm trying to set up is that scenario that if there's one hanging out over there, it will see my whopper plopper coming through and will perceive and see that as um, something to be eaten.
All right, I'm gonna give one more cast and see if I can get some action over there. Kind of surprised. I thought for sure I would have one hitting it. I might have had a little one just hit it when I first threw it in there. So I'm gonna do one more cast because it it didn't quite have the whopper plopper action. But I might end up switching up my uh, Helger mite so that I will have instead uh, maybe one of those Berkeley gulp three inch worms on it or three inch uh, minnows on it because at least that has smell that can be uh, zeroed in on. But yeah, this is generally a very good spot. And like I just share with you, I've had zero hits I didn't, haven't even had any real uh, follow-throughs or um, even just little bumps to the lure, which is like really surprising. So I'm going to change up and come back in and I'm going to throw more than likely my uh, Berkeley Gulp 3-inch worm. See what happens. All right, I got one here. I'm not sure what it is, but... All right. And I'm actually using the Helger mite. I figured before I switched it out, I told you I was going to switch it out. But before I did, I'm like, you know, instead of giving up on that bait real quick, let me just do one more chance. And uh, that's exactly what I did. I cast it in there for one more opportunity. And the Helger mite delivered. There we go. Didn't want to break his lip, but somehow that piece of that plastic on there. But, yep, just caught that beautiful fish. I believe it's fish number five or fish number six, one of the two. But you've been on the Helger mite. So, so far the Whopper Plopper has uh, four fish or five fish, and uh, the Helger mite has one. But this is a beautiful fish. I'm going to let it go. Thank you for biting. All right, well, maybe I won't switch it out. Maybe I'll give it another try and see if the Helger Mike can catch me another one. I'm out here fishing, and I know that the road is not that far away, but I'm hearing what were knocks on the tree out here. And I know that they say or they claim that Bigfoot makes knocks. And, uh... I'm, I'm not sure if that's what's going on, but I'm hearing knocks. So um, I'm gonna try to do some and see if I can somehow get a response. All right, that's two hits. All right, maybe it's just my imagination going, but uh, just a little bit ago, I was hearing some knocks and it sounded like one knocked and then another one knocked and then a two knock and then it stopped and then I knocked. All right, well, I'm gonna just count it as one of those weird coincidences of uh, things that happen, a possible Bigfoot. Um, but let's go. If I happen to see one, hopefully I'm able to get my camera and take a picture. All right, here I am. I'm uh, just coming around the first bend uh, to uh, from the bridge from where I was fishing. And I caught one on the Helger mite, and I've caught about four or five on the Whopper Plopper. So I'm going to be switching out to the Berkeley uh, Gulp 3-inch minnow on the jig and see that's been very successful throughout the spring and most of this summer. So... I'm going to put it on here in this uh, creek that I'm fishing in and see if I'm able to catch some more fish. Uh, today it's just absolutely beautiful, not too hot, and uh, the fish do seem to be responding, um, but it's you got to be a little bit more patient, a little slower in order to make sure you get them. So um, let's get out there and see what other kinds of fish we can catch.
Oh, something came up and swirled by it. So I'm going to try that again. Oh, I just did it again. Try one more time. See if I can get them. It's probably just a rock bass, but at this point I'd be happy to catch a rock bass. I'm going to try one more because I wasn't quite in that area with the water flowing. It's slightly messing me up. I'll try a little further ahead. That should give me the distance I need. Right in there. Right there is where he hit. Alright, I just caught one. I'm not sure why the GoPro didn't turn on when it was supposed to, to catch me uh, re-catching it, but um, yeah, right in that one spot that I was just telling you about. Um, and I had just that little swirl that came up and the fish tried to hit it but didn't actually just take it aggressively so i went back with a berkeley um, three inch minnow and um, this is the fish that was there i knew there was one in there and so i got that fish so i'm excited now um, i knew there was one in there this has been a little bit of a dry streak probably about a half hour maybe a little longer but <laughs> i had to let him go and now go up and see if i can catch some uh some more fish. All right, if you look right there, you will see you will see a deer skull. Now it could be a message to stay off of this property, <laughs> or someone just thought it would be uh, funny to put that on there. But working my way back. Friends, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and do share with your friends. Have a blessed day.